Hey, it's Robert Lee Mullen here, and today we're going to be looking at the third and final series of the Mode Connections. This is going to be dealing with the E and the A string. We've already gone over the D and the G, and we've gone over the E and the B string. And again, this particular pattern will be the same as the other two, it's just that we're starting in a different location of the series. Okay, so let me give you an A, so for uh, tuning purposes. 440. Okay, and the first connection here we'll have was 3, 5, and 7 on the E string. The A string will also be 3, 5, and 7. These are both whole step, whole step. Okay, the second position is going to be the 5th, the 7th, and the 8th and the 5th, 7th, and ninth on the A string. And here they are connected. Alright, the third position. It's going to be the 7th, the 8th, and the 10th fret on the E string and the 7th, the 9th, and the 10th on the A string. Half step whole, whole step half. And here they are connected. Okay, here's the next position. We're going to start on the 8th, the 10th, and the 12th. And then on the A string, it's going to be the 9th, the 10th, and the 12th. So that's whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Here they are connected. Okay, the next position is going to be 10, 12, and 14 on the E string. And on the A string, it's also going to be 10, 12, and 14. Whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step. Okay, here they are connected. The next position is going to be the 12th, the 14th, and the 15th. And then we have the 12th, 14th, and the 15th on the A string. So both of these are whole step, half step. And here they are connected. Okay, the next position will be 14th, 15th, and 17th on the E string, and 14th, 15th, and 17th on the A string. Half step, whole step, half step, whole step. Okay, and the last position is going to be 15th. 17 and 19. And it's also going to be 15, 17, and 19 on the A string. Whole step, whole step. And as we talked about, when we do the turnaround, we're going to hit the very last note twice because it will be the end note and the beginning note of the pattern. So, kind of like this. Just work our way down then.
Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the metronome on 80. We've been working with 80, and the emphasis is going to be on 1 and 3. And the count will be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 into 3 into 4 into 1 and 2 into 3 into 4 into 1. Okay? So in between, we'll have this pattern against the 80 count sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Okay, so that's our third position, and actually, you'll notice when you do these, the, the patterns are identical, it's just where you're starting at, and what you want to get used to is the patterns. Again, we're talking about patterns only right now. Eventually, we're going to talk about how the mode takes on its own unique sound, and that's going to be the crucial part of the modes, but the big thing is, is when you get into that sound, now you're going to know how to tie it through the entire neck, each and every one of these. So this is uh, definitely the stuff that you need to be working on. And go ahead and go to BobMolton.com. Leave me a comment again on how this stuff's helping you. And let me know if there's anything else that might be beneficial for you at this time. As I'm always creating lessons. And uh, I'd love to help you as far as I can. So uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. And we will definitely talk to you in the next video. And as always, keep rocking. Talk to you. We'll see you in the next video.